Some kids have lots of books. Some kids don't have any books at all. Uh, on average, uh, each school age child has access to 22 books. 22 books per child uh, is the national average. Here in the Los Angeles area where I teach, you know, facing continuous cutbacks, that number drops to five. Five books per child. How are you going to know how to read if you don't have any books? And how are they supposed to get a big imagination without books? Many children just don't have books at home and they can't get to a library and schools are buying only the bare minimum. And I think that the kids who have many books that have already read the books should give them to the kids who don't really have that many so they can enjoy books and getting a big imagination. California ranks 49th in books per child in elementary school libraries. In California, each child has only three books to read. 50% of the nation unemployed youth cannot read. This summer, the Mining My Story leaders at Shamnar had a book drive. They started to spread the word to their friends and families about what they were doing. It was crazy. So many books were coming in from different places. Not too long before it hit 3,000, and soon they had 5,000 books. They started to box, sort, and label the books one by one. They drove over to the Children's Hospital, all of you, and Northridge, and the look on the kids and doctors' face was priceless. This is a call to action. If you are someone who is looking for a way to make our holidays special, or someone who wants to be a leader in the community, we need you. Please come to this event and make 2,000 different kids holidays special. I feel great knowing that we're helping out those kids. I can't imagine living in isolation like that. And you know, books can be great companions. It makes your imagination run wild. And I think it's a great opportunity for the kids and for us to get to do work like this. Well, I really liked the experience. We went to a bunch of hospitals and we uh, gave the kids books. It made me feel like I was really heartfelt about it. To be honest, I think that what's happening here is something that is really important because it's such a great opportunity uh, to be able to help others, others that you know are in the need of help and others that don't have the blessings that we have. And I think if we can find, and I, I hope that you hear more of us, that we grow and the movement to change things and make some sort of inspiration in the world has started, then I think that we can truly, like our motto says on my t-shirt, hope, believe, succeed, and inspire. So thank you.